everyone. I'm your host, Miss Blake, and your co-host. Hi, I'm Miss Unger. We are so excited to have you back for episode 11 of the Pittsburgh Steam Station. Today, we're going to bring you another exciting steam challenge. Who's ready? I am. Today's topic involves making a chain reaction. A chain reaction is when one thing happens after another. You may have heard of Rube Goldberg. He was an American cartoonist, engineer, and inventor who was known for building crazy chain reaction contraptions that would complete simple tasks. In this example, the alarm clock moves the ball, which pushes the wheel, which knocks over the cup, which fills the bucket, which cuts the string, which moves the shoe, and staples the paper. Today, we're going to try to make our own chain reaction with our special guest, Miss Reagan. I am so excited to do this challenge. It looks so fun. Let's go. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Reagan here from Keystone Oak School District. I'm here on the Pittsburgh Steam Station to show you how to make a chain reaction. Now, before you start your chain reaction, you're going to need a list of supplies. I chose different things that are all around my house. I have books, I have cups, I have ribbon spools, cuties, really whatever you can find. And I also think that tape would work really well too, and string. So number one, when I first start to build my chain reaction, I draw out a plan, okay? So on my plan, I have a set of cuties being pulled down from a pulley, which will then send a deck of cards uh, knocking over one book onto the next. That book should go to the next book. And then actually this little part right here, my little ramp and ball and cup, that would be a little bit closer. And my ball would go down my ramp into my cup. Okay, so after I make my plan, I then test out each step along the way. So, for instance, I built my uh, pulley. Okay, so my pulley needs to be up high so that it causes the weight of the cuties to pull on my cards. Okay, so. I build one step at a time. I take my cuties and my cards that I tied all together and I set that up. So I pull this over here while still holding onto my string and let that go. So now I know that this is enough force to pull my cards um, onto my next part. Okay, so step two. Now, if my cards pull hard enough onto my book, then my book should then fall onto this book, onto this book. Let's see if that works. So I'm gonna test out this one. Great. So this book knocked over one, two book these two books to send the ball rolling down the ramp. Now, I tried that several, several times to make sure that my books were going where they needed to go. Okay? Um, so once you try out your steps, once you try out each step along the way, you're going to try it again all together to make sure that it works. Let's see how this chain reaction works. Okay, so the goal is for the ball to make it into one of these three cups. Hopefully, the force from the cuties will pull down on the string, knocking books one, two, and then three down, hitting the ball, and then going, it will go down the ramp into one of the three cups. Let's see if this works. Take number six. Ready, set, go. What a fun challenge. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Tune in next time for another episode of the Pittsburgh Steam Station.